Hey everybody, Felix Stoffelbaker here. I bet you Bitcoin can be accepted for oil between countries. And we already see the BRICS nations, Brazil, Russia, um, India, China, South Africa. Those countries are already coming together and saying, we're not going to only use US dollars to trade our oil. We're going to use other currencies looking for alternatives. And oil backed the last system. Oil, gold, these different types of things were the underpinning of society. And when you look, EOS is the new digital currency for uh, data and for the new infrastructure of the new financial system. You know, you could see easily see something like that in the future being traded. But right now, they're looking at things like Bitcoin, where you can settle across in 10 minutes or less, and you don't have to go through the Fed. And they're circumventing the U.S. dollar, effectively ending the hegemony and we're going into a Thysidious trap. We've talked about that before, where the nation like China is going to overtake the U.S. as the empire, that is the global reserve. And so seeing that America wouldn't want to give up that power, especially because it's been used as the financial engine to create this entire new system, you've got people... Um, not taking Bitcoin so serious when in reality that's like the main uh, competitor of the dollar. So you'd want, the, the U.S. doesn't want the dollar to go away. So what I think would happen logically is people could agree across the globe that they would just use Bitcoin as the global reserve currency and that way China doesn't have it, Russia doesn't have it, the U.S. doesn't have it, or even uh, Iran or some some place like that doesn't have the global um, reserve currency and it doesn't give them a leg up, quote-unquote, on all the other countries. This is the perfect way that you can actually bring about a one-world government. The easiest way to do it is not have one country be above every other country as far as trade goes. So we're really breaking down the U.S. and really bringing it down to a level that can be managed on a global scale and taking all these different assets um, and resources like oil, like gold, all these things that trade daily all the time that are vital for the, the world to operate will be denominated in Bitcoin and be moved without permission from the U.S. because let's be honest, if the U.S. is going into war with Russia, they're already fighting using NATO troops on the front line. Uh, the president of Ukraine, who was a comedian before Trump became president and then became president and then supposedly had a phone call that got Trump impeached, now we have to give him tens of billions of dollars because you know they're trying to bring about a, a whole total transformation. Klaus Schwab said that in Kyiv, in Ukraine, it's had a total transformation. It goes back to 2015 articles about how smart cities were pre-planned in the Ukraine area. And we've got all these different things happening, but you wouldn't want, the, the U.S. wouldn't want Russia or, Ch or China to have any of that stuff. So you have a global currency across the board that everyone can get on board with. And then all you have to do is, this is what we've been waiting for in Bitcoin, the nation state accumulation. We've had you know, early adopters, people who didn't have much money, and you had a, a couple of businesses like MicroStrategy, different things. Then you had a country like El Salvador make Bitcoin legal tender. Then you had a financial powerhouse in Laguna, Switzerland make Bitcoin legal. Now you're going to have, start having governments uh, go in and become legal tender and try to fight off or try to accumulate as much Bitcoin as you can. You see that Russia has 
tons of Bitcoin mining operations going live now. There's a couple of um, uh, nuclear power plants, I think, in Pennsylvania that just went online to mine Bitcoin. So, I mean, there's a lot going on behind the scenes that if you just look at the price of Bitcoin, you'd think that it was done or whatever. But there's so much happening in the globe that, you know, they're not going to just roll over. This is just getting started. It's about to heat up. This is the fight that we wanted. This is this is everything that we need to get us to that next level. So I just want to put that out there. Stoffel Baker out.